Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to make a video about self-hosting. I've been making a lot of videos about it lately, but I got one comment from someone on my YouTube channel who's one of my favorite commenters, and he said he didn't really know what I was talking about. And I kind of realized that that may be a case for a lot of you. I've been making tutorials on how to use various apps and how to self-host Vault Warden, which is like the open source server hosted version of Bitwarden, but a lot of you might not know what I'm talking about. And that's quite okay because self-hosting is a new thing and I think it's something that's going to get bigger in the future. Now what exactly is self-hosting? Well self-hosting is essentially what it sounds like. Basically you're hosting a so portion of the internet directly from a hardware box that only you control. So basically I have a little box down there that's connected to Ethernet and it's essentially a computer which is running all the time which hosts a server and a domain for me. So instead of something like um, Dropbox or something like that, my uh, server down there is hosting an open source version of something called Nextcloud which is like an open source version of Dropbox. Now if I unplugged that little computer down there or server, the entire website would go down and so would all the apps and I wouldn't be able to access it. However, if I plugged it back in, it all go back in and that's essentially what it is. Now with self-hosting, besides that hardware component, there's also that component of getting your server to work or getting the server to function. Basically, there's various kind of softwares you can use that provide front ends. There's stuff called Unihost, which I've been using lately, which it's its own little interface and stuff like that. There's stuff like Docker as well. And you could even just use Linux and stuff like that too on your server to kind of get it operating as a server. So outside of getting the operating system to work in the way you want it to, getting the hardware to function as a server, you also need what is called a reverse proxy. Now a reverse proxy is essentially um, feeding all your data into one point going outward. Basically what it is, at least in terms of how I understand it, is kind of setting up your domain, encrypting it, opening ports and stuff like that. Now you can do this with some other services out there, but lately I've been recommending and discussing and one reason why I've kind of created this new niche on the channel is because of Torgard's new website private router. Now Torgard's website private router pretty much makes all this process much easier. They sell the reverse proxy and multiple hardware devices that are pre-flashed with the softwares I've been talking about, whether that means Docker or Unihost. So Torgard sells that uh, reverse proxy here, which is gonna provide the public facing proxy and domain that sends traffic to your server. So it makes it much easier so it makes it easy to kind of get that domain encryption and stuff like that so you can navigate to it. So all I do is go to my domain and this is pretty much the, the front end Unihost version of my server. It has all these different apps. I could upload a host files to it, share them to the devices. I could even torrent to it, um, host media servers from it with Jellyfin and have open source applications out of the wazoo. I have a collaborative notepad thing open source sticky notes and I could even download videos um, directly from my server. So basically what this does is I put a URL here and it'll start downloading it and I could download it from my server onto my computer. Now Alltube is a open source way to do this but even their website isn't hosted by that powerful of a server so doing it yourself and hosting it yourself is the primarily way they want you to do it to get better speeds of downloading videos. It's a pretty cool thing and there's so many different applications like this on Unihost and even more on Docker I do believe. So there's really a limitless um, way to explore this world of self-hosting. Essentially what it is, is using open source applications, hosting them yourself and taking control of your own data. Anyways guys, that's just a brief overview I thought I might want to give you guys on the channel. If anyone's been confused about what I've been talking about lately, hope that clears some things up. Let me know down in the comments down below if you're interested in self-hosting and if you want to help support videos like these, check out the affiliate we're going to be using going forward, privaterouter.com. Use code TOMSPARK for 10% off that and click on the link in the description and pinned comment to help support these videos and get that amazing reverse proxy and they also sell other hardware devices too. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out this one and I'll see you again very soon.